Hi everyone. Recently I was on, on the Facebook group. I was discussing trying to play Atom Bomb and the fact that I didn't have a memory expansion in my computer to actually test it out. I, I used to. I used to have a nice beautiful 512k memory expansion in it which when I sold an Atom I forgot to take it out so somebody got an extra. And anyways one of the other members of the group, Michael from Ohio, got in contact with me and asked me would I like a memory expansion board that I could then get the chips and populate it and have a memory expansion. I figured great I can make a great video of that. So he, I said sure. So he said he'd send it to me as part of like the, to help out with all the work I do for the Atom community with the videos and with the Atom Archive and SmartBasic.net. Then he contacted me a day or so later and said he couldn't find the board. But he had something else instead. So he sent it to me. So this is Millie's first mail call. I got mail. You got mail. So I'm going to show you what I got. I got a box. I got a box. I got a box with some padding in it. Nothing in there. That's okay. What we got here? More padding. And more padding that's it's very well packed. I see a circuit board. Ah, so this is one thing he sent, he said. This is the remake of the MIB serial port. This is the bare board that just needs to be populated with parts. Fascinating, some surface mount in there. I'd never done surface mount before. Yeah, some of these are good. I mean, I can, I can chase these down. Expansion rod, I don't worry about that. I mean, so sweet, I can put that, I can make that. But that was just an actual, he said, do I want that? I said, sure, send it away. This is what he sent me. He sent me a nice little one. This has on it one megabyte. One megabyte of RAM. That's a pretty circuit board. That purple color. And there should be a place where I will wire my parallel card to it so I can actually access it. Right here, slot two. Oh no, that switches over from slot two card to IRQ. Where is. I'll figure this one out. There's a pin in here. It lets me see. But this will give me expansion RAM. This is one megabyte. What's that IRQ line? I don't know how that one works. I have to figure it out. But yeah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't, where? Normally, the, I mean, there's an addresser card. Here, I'll put this down. I'm going to get it. Okay, so I'm back. Get this out of the way. This is a parallel card that you connect to a parallel printer. But if you see the little right there, the little hole, that little solder position there, see right there? That's memory addresser. You wire that over with a single wire to your expanded RAM, and now, instead of just only having 64K expansion, it can access all the way up to whatever you have. It sends a signal over to page flip between them. So I gotta figure out where that wire comes to over here, because it has to come over here. Ooh, let's drop it and break it, Millie. This is freaking cool. My first mail call, and I got expansion RAM. RAM. This right here is cool too. This is cool too. This has all that also. It also has, um, hey, see right here, see? This, if you put all your parts in here, this will plug into the same place this one will. Or actually, which one does it? Uh, I'm not sure if it goes in the same one. Yeah, it goes in the same place. Yes, it does. It goes in slot two. But if you hook all this up in here, it gives you serial ports and a parallel port. And that right there is your wire to go to your expansion ROM, or RAM. This right here. So yeah, that's a project for future use, or for the future. I can chase down these parts. What am I looking at here? These are jumpers. Those are... I don't know what they are. I gotta see if I can chase down the bill of materials for this one, find out how it's made. But it looks like there's a whole bunch of things just soldering in place, which I can solder things in place. That's a crystal right there. This right here is the only thing I'm gonna have a concern about, service mount. I've never service mounted anything. 
And from everything I see, it's pretty easy. I don't know. But that, that this is this is cool for future. This is cool right now. I can use this. I can drop this in the system and try to run atom bomb. So yeah, if anybody knows about this card, it's Charles Mouse 2019, where I would wire in the addresser line, where it would wire to. Let me know in the comments. Just tell me where it goes. I mean, obviously this is right here. Wait, 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 wait. Is this, is it right here? Is it that pin right there? And it's just, oh, oh, I bet you that's it right there. I bet you that is. What are these chips on here, too? These are, yeah, there's lots of RAM on this thing. So I, that's probably it right there. I bet you that is, because this jumper just jumpers from the other. You jump over here to tell it to do slot, too. You jump over here to use the IR, I -R -I -O -R -Q line. I should set that up. We'll see. Maybe another video comes out of that, but this one right here. Thank you, Michael. Really appreciate it. And if anybody else wants to contribute to the channel, I mean, yeah, I have Patreon, obviously. I mean, I always can use the cash. But if anybody wants to contribute, you got some Adam stuff floating around, some extras, some things, let me know. Contact me. Contact me on Facebook. Contact me. Just click on somewhere up there on where is the about. Click on that. And there's a link to get a hold of me. Or you just send me an email, 8bitmillie at gmail.com. That's 8bitmilly at gmail.com. Operators are standing by. Alright, so I've installed the memory cartridge in and I'm running the RAM test from Eric Pearson on it. It only detects the one bank of 64K. I tried to use my printer slash memory addressing card, but it's not addressing it. So I gotta figure it out. But she's working just fine. Pass the test. Now it's just testing the memory that's actually on board, and then it will test the VRAM and so forth. This is a new the new setup I got for the Atom here. Nice little setup. I consolidated because I've got a couple other sets in the studio here, so the other set I had was just way too big. But as you can see, she works just good. I just got to figure out why my addressing card doesn't work with it. But I'll figure that one out, but for now, it's doing the VRAM test right now. Everything passed. And then it will reset itself back there. So I want to thank Michael for that. It was very nice. My first mail call, and I appreciate it. Thank you.